Good morning, afternoon, evening, who knows anymore. Anyway, this is day 5007 of isolation and today we're going to do a just a little bit of a cardio kettlebells workout. What we're trying to do here is wake ourselves up a little bit, get the blood flowing, start the day. I'm going to do this as a relatively easy uh, 15 minute workout, give or take. On paper it looks about 15 minutes. You can absolutely do it for longer. I'm going to be doing alternating between a skipping exercise or so jump rope um, and a kettlebell exercise. It's going to be 30 seconds of skipping, thereabouts. I'm going to get Zoe to sort of look at the time for the first 30 seconds. I'm going to count how many jump ropes I do in that time. I'm just going to match that each time rather than worry about the time. And then I'm going to be doing a minute-ish of kettlebell exercises. By all means set this up with the timer but given that I'm using the phone to record this I didn't want to have a ton of other technology lying around the place. 30 seconds of skipping, one minute of kettlebell exercises, repeat, simple as. I need to put this somewhere where I can see it. Oh, you can you me. lean it against the front of the tripod? Or if I'm going to lean it next to the dog, this will possibly go wrong. Okay, so 30 seconds, please. Give me a, a number to say go on. Go. Dave's got a speed rope. I hate speed ropes. I like proper skipping ropes. If you don't have one, you can totally do the skipping motion without the rope. Holding the rope itself is not the point in the slightest. Jumping up and down on the spot, little arm motions is all you need. Alternatives include jumping jacks, jogging on the spot, marching on the spot with a high knee. Don't care, long as it gets your pulse rate up. That's 30 seconds. Oh, there we go, that's good. What was the Wait. skip number? I forgot to count. Excellent. <laughs> so first exercise is... <laughs> that's <an> absolute cracker. <laughs> God, I love Mondays. <laughs> okay, kettlebell so swings. One minute, please, go. Okay. Remember to get your hips moving, thumb to bum. Oh, is that your opinion, Jim? Jim the dog is just out of shot. Can't quite remember what the time was when you started. Let's just go for whole minutes because then it's easier. And that's a minute. Professional, organised. <laughs> we us. do recommend using a timer on your phone because then it just beeps at you. Okay, I made a note of it now, so we're all right. I hope you all also appreciate that I have not yet hung the laundry out so that you didn't have to watch this exercise video with a backdrop of our undercrackers on the laundry line. You're welcome. You won't even be able to see my crotchless panties. <laughs> Five more seconds. Two, one, done. What was your skipping number? Didn't count. Good Lord. This is the pirate code workout. <sighs> Cleans now. So he's doing one clean, then a hand transfer, and then the next clean. Remember to keep your hand close to your body for a clean. It's like you're zipping up a hoodie and you're flipping the kettlebell at the top. That's halfway. Oh, we didn't bring the dazed in banner down. You can see it at the back of the garden. Five, four, three, two, one.
Can you do fancy skips? Oh, I totally can. Like Rocky, yeah. like like the boxers. Oh yeah, I can do all that. Do you know manly skipping rhymes? I can do all that. <laughs> He's lying. Done. Still haven't counted. Honest to God, it's a good job he's pretty. So pretty. So when you're going into the press movement, you start with your thumb in the middle of your chest, like so straight up bicep to ear make sure your butt muscles are squeezed and your hips are tucked under it protects your lower back and reach all the way up at the top so reach up and then shrug up for that extra inch if you start to struggle with the weight of kettlebell you've got feel free to just use your knees to give you a bit of bounce Ten more seconds. And you're done. Done. Oh, my happy accident. So that's about 70, 75 skips. I have to count it this time. Okay. Nearly there. Five more seconds. Done. I like doing snatches on my right hand side. My left, they feel a bit dodgy. Ten more seconds. Done. Okay, get up right there. Bottom up press. Yeah. This is one hell of an exercise. If you can't manage it, go for a shoulder press. It's all about squeezing the handle of the kettlebell hard <laughs> and you'll often find one side is weedier than the rest i'm not sure what sort of circus strongman dave would make but he'd look good in the onesie so that's a 16 kilo kettlebell which for dave is ridiculously light but because of the sort of exercise, you will have to drop down a lot more than you think. I can do a 32 with my right hand. I can barely do 
16 is my left. It's absolutely strengthening. There's the coordination as well. Just a sort of fine motor control that I've got my right is non-existent. And I have no idea how long you've been doing no. this. What? One job, woman. One job. I was commentating. Yeah. I almost died then. Yeah, at least I would have filmed it. <laughs> Give me two more of each side. One more of each side, surely. Two more. What? Shut up. Get on with it. I'm going to wash this bit back. <laughs> I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> gets dramatic. Just a desperate attempt to inject some variety and drama into our lives. <laughs> Stupid exercise. Who wrote this bloody workout anyway? Good grief. Ready timer? Yes. Right, this next exercise is outside circles and I have genuinely got no idea what it is. <laughs> Much as I'd love to commentate. Okay, so kind of like a twisty clean. Make sure you pivot on your back foot. Other than that, I don't have much to contribute. That feels about 30 seconds ish. <laughs> Wait. Perhaps we should have practiced this one. Um. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Nailed it. If you can't get the hang of any of these individual movements, by all means swap them out for something else that hits broadly the same muscle groups. Um, we haven't been doing specific tutorials on any of these, we're just giving you tips and tricks, but YouTube is packed full of so good that one tutorials. Was the outside and the inside circles combined. <laughs> Skipping now. Next exercise is going to be pullover and halo. Whew. I get distracted by the blackbirds in the background. Dave did lots of gardening yesterday, so there's all sorts of little fuzzy plant-based bits that the blackbirds are picking up for their nests. Okay, pull so over. And that's a halo. So pull over is shoulder mobility and abs, yes? Can't talk, concentrate. Okay. 
because I know dumbbell pullovers, but I've never seen these. It's nice to know that after 21 years of being together, he can still surprise me, even if it is with a kettlebell. It's quite hard. <laughs> and again, I stopped counting. I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to see how long he keeps going. Minutes, at least. <laughs> Quick tutorial on that one. Start with your arms at a right angle. Don't let your elbows come forward or behind your ribs. The pull over, keep your butt tight, keep your ribs down all the way over. And then the halo, you're going to track the dumbbell around your ear height in one way. And the next time after the pull over, he tries to do it the other way. I kept forgetting which side I've done last. It's all good. Last skipping. Last skipping, why not? My arms don't work. <laughs> Pointless tubes of meat. Kind of done. There you go. 12 or 15 minutes of work. Heart rate up, blood flowing. I feel good. Well, goodish. Less rubbish. I feel less bad. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. So, yeah, you can do more rounds of this and make this a longer workout. You can use this as a warm up with a lighter weight, as a finisher with a heavy weight. Just use it for whatever you want. It's a good workout. Bit of cardio, bit of kettlebells. Nice way to start the day. Bye bye. <laughs>